Hello there guys and welcome to yet another video on SEPA channel. Um, today's video is going to be about how to rearrange layers in Adobe Premiere Pro. I had a request quite some time ago for one of our viewers and unfortunately I didn't really have the time to uh, make the video. So today I'm going to make that possible and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Let's go ahead and start it. So obviously the first thing we're gonna have to do will be to uh, start a project. Um, we are going to work on another video which is gonna be launched uh, most probably before this one on a Marvel Touch uh, um, Wisdom, it's called um, Headphones. Um, so uh, we are going to work a little bit and see how you know it works behind the scenes, sort of speaking in that respective, how we are rearranging layers and stuff like that. I'm just going to use this video, obviously, to uh, to give you guys an example so you have an idea about what's happening and how to actually rearrange layers. So first things first, uh, we will need to um, import a file. So we do have the file and we're going to put it here, obviously. So you can drag and drop it from your folder and then you're going to have to drag and drop it here. Now, layers-wise, what is most important, if you hold the Shift key, yeah, so if you hold the Shift key, you can, and then uh, with the wheel scroll on your uh, keyboard, you can actually uh, zoom in or zoom out in the meaning of uh, enlarge or uh, make this uh, this bits a bit bigger or smaller, depending on, you know, whatever you wish. Now, um, just for the purpose of... Uh, showing you guys how to rearrange the layers. Uh, I'm going to take another video. Um, I don't know, something, anything. Let's take some RGB floodlights as an example, right? And uh, let's import. Right, so um, when you are rearranging the layers, the most important thing for you to know is that depending on the order that you have in here, that's what exactly you are going to see on the um, on the video itself. In the meaning of, and let me show you exactly. Yeah, so I'm importing the second video, uh, drag and drop, and I position it wherever I want to have it. In here you have the video itself, and in here you have the sound. If you want to, um, as an example, delete the sound from it, you can just go ahead and unleak them, and then you can delete the sound. Right, I'm just gonna take a portion of this video. I'm gonna cut. So uh, with C, you have the the cut option, and with V, you have the select option. So C is this one, the razor tool, and V is the selection tool. You have the shortcuts here also. Fair enough. Let's go now to uh, V. Delete this. Delete this. And let me show you guys an example. Now I do need my headsets. Uh, because I want to hear what's happening on the video. And let's see what's the deal with that. Yeah, let's start somewhere about here, okay? So with the mic as well. This is how it looks. Right, so what we want to achieve is uh, stacking the second video on top of this video, so to speaking. So pretty much what we'll have to do in that Hello. perspective will be to... Arrange them in the way of. What you'll have to understand is that the lower the video is, right, it decreases the chances to show up in the video. And what you'll see, it will be the one at the top. So the video that's at the top, that's what you are going to actually see in the video itself. And let me show you. So we have this bit where the initial video, yeah, it's the last one pretty much. It's in, let's call it the V1 section. That's how it's actually called. This is how it looks. And then V2, it jumps over it. So when, when V2 starts, that's when the magic happens. Now, if you want to rearrange them, what you have to do will be to drag and drop them. So let me cut a section of this video. Okay and show you guys. So, we have these two layers, the first one and the second. This is the first video, this is the second video, yeah? So, once we are going to play or whatever, you know, render the video, what you are, we are going to see, it's exactly what we see here, well, and let's go for it. This is how it looks. Bang, and it's then it goes with the second one. already used for a couple of weeks, and from Let's mute the track. Now, 
once uh, we're going to continue playing it, you will see when this um, video pretty much ends, it's gonna jump back to its original uh, video. And then it goes back like that. And then it goes back like that. So it's all about how you arrange the rails. Now, let's, uh, let's add a third video in there. You know, just making sure that we, we got it right. And we have like a drone shot, I think. So first thing, import the video and then put it in there, right? This is a video that uh, we took with the drone. So let's go to the beginning, okay? First video, second video on this bit, and then this is the third video, yeah? And let's arrange it like this. Now, technically, if uh, we follow the same logic, what's going to happen is that uh, when we start you know, rendering the video, what we'll see, we'll see exactly what's on this screen, uh, on this previous screen. So depending on the order that we arrange the layers here, that's what we are going to see on the screen. Let me grab this bit of this video and put it on top of it, okay? So we pretty much have four videos stacked, one on top of the other one, yeah? Let's start and let's see exactly what is the final result. So we have the first video, then we have the second video, because it's put here. Then we have the third video. Boom. And we have the second video again because we moved it. So depending on the order that you have in here, that's pretty much how it's working out. Um, I know um, it might be a bit confusing at the beginning, but you know, um, once you're gonna get a hold of it, then it's gonna be easier. Uh, one thing I want you guys to uh, please remember is the following. The same rule does not apply with the audio. Okay, and let me explain you why. I'm gonna delete these videos. And let me explain you why, right? Let's just move this one somewhere like this. So with audio, uh, it doesn't matter the way you arrange the layers, right? What it matters with the audio is what is turned on and off. If you have, let's say, two um, audio layers and none of them is muted, yeah, as you can see, it's going to play both of them. And let's hear how it's gonna sound. Let's let's be like uh, this. It comes with a mic as well. Hi guys and welcome to yet another Sounds video close. on Sepa channel. Today we it's will review already used the Marvel for a couple of weeks. Yeah. So if you want to sort uh, out and arrange layers for audio purposes in that respect and you decide what you are going to play or not, what you can do is something um, that we we are using uh, a tool, uh, which is the pen tool. And let's uh, make them a bit bigger so it's going to be easier to understand. So with the pen tool, you can mark different uh, uh, points on the audio line. Even on the video, you can do the same. P. So we have the pen tool. We select a point, another point here, here, and here. Yeah. Now we go back to V. And we can either move the points or we can move the whole line. And how it works is like this, right? So the closer it is to the bottom, the audio is going to be lower. The higher you have it, the louder it's going to be. So it really depends. In this respect, if let's just assume uh, we want to have to mute this video like this, but very important, mute it without losing, yeah, without deleting the file. We're just muting it, that's it. So we wanna mute this bit from here, and we want to have it replace it with this one here. Let's do the same thing, a P here, a P here. And then this bit we want to make sure we're not going to hear it anymore. So it's going to be like, hopefully, a nice transition effect for audio. Okay? Let's see how this is going to work out. 
Hi guys and welcome to yet another video on SEPA channel. Today we will review the Marvel Scorpion HG9049. I will go through the features. See how smooth is that? Now let's do the following. Let's delete the points and let's hear it again. How bad is it? Right? We're deleting the points. Okay. And let's play the same bit again. Um, Hi guys and welcome from to that experience. experience. <laughs> So I guess this is very confusing, right? The last bit when you can hear both of the audios at the same time. That is the reason when you are uh, arranging the layers, it's very important to uh, one, make sure that when you are moving the layers, so where you, when you are drag, drag and dropping the layers, uh, you are also taking the audio files, right? And after that, at the end, when you are going to sort out your audio files, it's very important to make sure you have the correct audio, right? And if you have multiple uh, audio audio layers in there, uh, just make sure you are going to mute whatever you don't want to mute. I will not suggest cutting them because you may need them later on and it might be, I don't know, it might be a bit harder to uh, to get them back in that respective. So uh, just for the purposes or having like a, a very clean editing process, uh, make sure you do that. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, do not forget to uh, like the video, subscribe to that channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. It's going to help us massively as we are trying to get at least 1,000 followers. Uh, and pretty much, yeah, I would say that's about it. You have a wonderful rest of the day.